Hi, this is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextra Gunfighter. We're going to do another test with the Mantis X10 Elite. Um, we're going to do it again on our rifles. And uh, we've got our RDB and our BCM Recce. And what I want to see is if, um, if I can hold the RDB steadier, and I'm going to be doing this offhand, as versus the AR. Now, one of the things I'm going to have to figure out and decide is where do I actually mount the Mantis X10 Elite. Now, it is Picatinny rail mounted. Now, at first I was thinking I would mount it, say, an equal amount back from the barrel. But then I thought, well, that's not fair. This has a 20-inch barrel. This has a 16-inch barrel. So then I thought, well, I'll count for the barrel length and mount this one back further than this one. But then I started thinking, you know, really, when you start looking at minute of angle, the, the amount of movement, the minute of angle is going to be the same because basically the pistol grip and the butt stock are in the same places and any movement there is going to translate the same amount of minute of angle from one rifle to the other. Now what, uh, what will make a difference is the extra weight out on this one. Am I going to better hold that the AR as steady as I can the RDB? Now I'm going to do this test indoors so I can isolate for just that weight issue and uh, not have to deal with the fact that this catches more wind. For example, I'm not going to do that here today. It's fairly windy and I already know that shooting the AR when it's windy is quite a bit more difficult than the RDB when it's windy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure an equal amount from the buttstock out out to here. So I'll go from there out to there on the RDB and then an equal amount on the AR. And uh, presumably that maybe that'll tell us something. We'll see. Let's proceed with the testing. Okay, so now let's look at the conclusions of our, it's a little micro test. I haven't got a lot of data on this, but I wanted to get this out there and get it shared and perhaps other people can do some similar tests. But um, uh, here's our, uh, our test results here. Uh, we had uh, six test subjects, six different test subjects. Um, uh, most of them, uh, five of the six were very experienced shooters. And we had one uh, shooter that was pretty inexperienced. Um, some of the shooters went through the routine pretty quickly as almost you know bang and then coming back up and shooting again kind of fast others were going very methodically very slow doing the whole uh, you know all the six steps to the firing of the shot and gentle trigger squeeze and all of that now the results we ended up with is that uh, as you see here is is that the Mantis X score for the RDB uh, was a little bit better on average than the AR-15, the BCM Recce. Uh, we ended up with a, a final score or average score for the RDB of 88.88 of .88 and um, an 87.75 was the average overall for the BCM. Now, one thing I did notice in observing our test subjects, test subject number six ended up with kind of a, a lower score than I think they would have got on the AR. Uh, actually, their last shot they kind of flubbed it up a bit and got kind of a poor score that kind of wrecked uh, their overall score there. And I think things would have been closer there between the two rifles. And uh, then also uh, test subject number four, which was the very uh, inexperienced shooter, um, 
uh, got the best, absolute best scores were with the RDB, but also the worst scores. And uh, whereas with the AR, that shooter was a little more consistent, and but more moderated. So, uh, so this is this test was done in our in the ambidextral gunfighter bunker down deep underground. So there was no wind or anything to affect the shooters, and so it was just really a test to see if basically holding up that weight and having more weight close to the body helped any. Now I can't say for sure. This isn't a, you know hardly a conclusive you know anything conclusive out of this. What I can say conclusively though, just from experience out at the range, is that the RDB in very windy conditions is much easier to manage than an AR-15 in those windy conditions. You just got a whole lot more extended way out there for the wind to catch on, and this is with a 16-inch barrel compared to the 20 inch barrel on the RDB. So I can imagine that if I had a 20 inch barrel on this AR, you know, you had another four inches out there and that's just gonna make that even worse. So for in the real world, outside in the real world where there's wind, definitely the RDB is on top. Uh, indoors or in windless conditions, they're, it turned out to be pretty close. It's Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextral Gunfighter. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll have a link to this, uh, this spreadsheet such as it is down in the description. Thanks for watching.